All right, so what we're going to talk about in this video is what do we do to get a property ready for photography? If we are not ready for photography and we're not here that day as a realtor, then it's a problem because you know what? Typically, the photographer will not see that these chairs are probably a little bit out of alignment, right? Little, little things go a long ways and you have to be here to capture that. So the other part is that we see certain things. I mean, this room is pretty much ready to go. We've got the lights on. There are no window treatments, but if there were window treatments here, you would have all those up. Lights are on. And basically, this table is ready to go. It doesn't have to be bare. We don't want nothing on countertops. We want it to look staged and, and curated, lived in. But we don't want things like this. This just looks kind of clunky. It looks disorganized. And believe it or not, many realtors don't actually remove things from countertops. So we don't want um, microwave ovens. We don't want toaster ovens. We don't want coffee makers. We don't want liquor. We don't want telephones. All these things would go. And maybe what we would do is add a flower or something over there, you know, have something. Um, and this here would maybe feel a little bit bare if you have this huge giant island with nothing on it. It just doesn't seem realistic, right? So, you know, having something here like this makes sense. This room over here, I would say for the most part, is ready to go. I would make one little change here. And again, it's the detail. But you don't really need a coaster and a Sonos remote or an Apple TV remote right here. So I would remove that and, you know, maybe, maybe remove this book and maybe remove this coaster here. I could go either way on that, but you know, I like to sit here and I like to feel the energy and look around. Is there something that's blocking the path? Uh, like, is there a really tall orchid? You know, if this orchid was up to here, for instance, I would say we need this gone because it's blowing, it, it, it's, uh, it's not giving a good transition for photography. It might be fine when you're living here, but for photography, it would be blocking the flow uh, of the energy and what the sight lines from the, the family room into the kitchen, into the dining room. So. These are just examples, things to kind of keep in mind when you're here. And it's important also to make sure you're working with the photographer to get the angles that they want. Because some photographers will come here and take a picture of this room. Then they'll come here and take a picture of this room. And then they'll take a picture of this room here, but they don't show how they all connect and flow. And people want to know how they live in a space and how they flow. So I think that's an important part. So that concludes the how we get a property ready for photography.